how can people support you or help you in your endeavor to get this lawsuit pushed forward and a victory uh, for yourself and for freedom? There are many ways that people can help. I personally have a GoFundMe because I felt that would be the quickest way I could get the issue viral. I have a GoFundMe called Take a Stand for Liberty with Desi. That's all you have to put in. And I've asked people to, when they make a contribution, to take a stand for liberty with Desi. That's exactly what they're doing. When they push the button to send anything in, they're giving me their energy, their electricity. I had, a, I had an envelope that I received the other day, uh, and it really came home to me what I mean by when I say that, because I, I'm being beat to death with, with the Attorney General of this state, you know, and the federal judge dismissed my case less than 30 days after I filed it. It doesn't mean it's over, it just means the fight is on. He dismissed it. I have two defendants that never answered. They're in default. He dismissed the case in its entirety without giving me a chance to replead, amend my pleadings, without any of those things. And that's really kind of frowned on. But the issue I think he did it was because I brought up the issue that these people have no oaths of office. They have no authority at all. Something I've been preaching for 20 years, and now is the time to bring it forward because you're marching to the drum. You're marching to the beat of a drummer that has no drum. They don't have any authority whatsoever, any of these people in Texas, to tell you anything because first they have to take the oath that conveys the limited power, delegation of power that we gave to people that are elected or appointed, and they don't have it. So when I put an affidavit into that effect, I mean, you, I mean, the, the, or that gavel came down right today on that one. But I'm, I'm putting in uh, um, motions for reconsideration today and to reinstate the case. So it will be a long time and it will go to the appellate court. It's a battle. But that's just, that's my way of telling people, you're all, you're all endangered. I mean, if I have, and I knew what I was getting into, if I, as an 80-year-old woman, have the brass to sue these people that are doing this and bringing out the issues that are, that are paramount, I mean, surely you guys can write a letter or give me your energy. I, I'm back in the envelope. So I, got, I, 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 did, I spent Friday dealing with this issue of dismissal. And they have, everything they said is, we have 11th, if I sue Governor Abbott in his individual and official capacity, they deem that to be that I have sued the state. Mm -hmm. So now the state comes in and says, there's an 11th Amendment immunity that we have, our employees or officers of the state have the same immunity as the state and we can't be sued by you. And there's no way around that. That's, it, it, it was used to be, the 11th Amendment said people in other states couldn't sue the state. But they have, the courts have made the law and changed that and watered it down into, you cannot sue these people, they are immune. So what recourse do you have when you're violated by the authority that makes you a slave? Does it not if you have no recourse, if they've made themselves immune to reprisal? We, I go back to the word independence. Independence means we have no immunity from anything. We stand on our own and we are fiercely independent. Everybody has the same liability. The Declaration of Independence says that we are all equal. Some are more equal than others, like in a communist regime. There's always, you know, first among equals. We don't, we're not supposed to have that in our country. We're not supposed to have any immunity whatsoever we're supposed to be responsible for our actions. But through the years and with the implementation of the, implementation of the administrative state and implementation of, of uh, agencies, um, we have been pushed aside. What I want from the lawsuit, what I want from people is to understand what is going on because they don't know that we have, that these people walking around here have Total, absolute immunity like they were Jesus Christ walking on the water. Okay? What do you have? You're worrying about what to do with the citation that they're going to give you for a mask. What do we have? 
Why aren't we immune? We are the ones that gave him the authority to, to form a government. So by going after the, the oaths, does that change the, the, the platform? Oh, they do not want that issue out. They will not have that issue out because, I mean, I can see what Judge Aker was doing. I mean, I'm going to quash that thing before it goes any further. So and that would be a direction that we could all get behind, um, many of us, and could we write letters or... Oh, yes. That? If the outcry went in this, you know, we're tired of, of giving you a delegation of our authority and you don't even accept the authority, it is dereliction of duty when they don't file an oath. Dereliction of duty. That's what it is. And it's basically a in your face from the, from the people that were elected or appointed to us, the people who elected or appointed them. It's, it's, it's such a reversal of the roles in the Declaration of Independence, and people don't know it. I'm sure if they knew it, they would do something about it. So that's part of my lawsuit, to get enough voices, to get enough videos out, to have, it, hear enough, to have enough people hear me, and join the cause to make a difference. Des, aside from monetary help and energy help, what do you need? If someone wants to join in your cause to help you with your lawsuit, who or what information would be someone or something that someone could give to you? Well, I, like I said, I, I consider the fact that they go fund me and pay a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. I'm not asking for any specific amount. If they would fund me, that ge that generates the energy to me. And it really does give me energy, and it builds my spirituality, and it also affects them as well. Are there lawyers or, uh, or um, uh, paralegals or anyone with law, law knowledge that you would like to you know, offer um, if they wish to apply their knowledge with you? Are you looking or seeking aid in that regard as well? Or? No, and the reason is, I don't believe this is going to be this is going to be one in the courts. It's a battle we can't. It's it's not the place for it. I believe this battle is going to be won just like the founding fathers won it. They believed so strongly. I saw I was at a meeting this on Saturday and I saw this this black man over there just to talk and then having such a good time. He helps people in the courts. He, he's learned the law, he helps people in the courts, and he was talking about what he put in before he, he went to the hearing. He puts in affidavits of a certain kind. And I'm sitting there listening, I'm not saying a word, I'm just observing. And he's telling, you know, this is what I do. And then he was talking about the experiences that he had encountered. The judges won't come out. They sent out a, a motion to dismiss. I have no idea the courts he's working in. I suspect they're probably maybe traffic court or you know small misdemeanor counts or whatever. I would think, but but he was his energy talking about this was just tangible. He really, and I'm sitting here thinking I would never do that in a million years would I do that. Yet he won every battle that he engaged in, and the reason he did is because he believed in his religion, which is what he was doing in the court. And this is all a religion. Those courts are nothing but a religion, trust me. Yeah. If this is all a religion, and if my belief in my religion is greater than those courts' dogma, I can win every time. And that's what he did. And that, to me, was just an amazing thing to, to see. This man so believed in what he was doing, and he so believed that he had the answer when he came to that court, he won just by that belief alone. So you can never put down the fact that belief is the only thing that we've got, and belief is everything we've got, and belief is the only thing we need. 